Now remember one thing, the very important point which you have to be noted now. Point to be noted, what it is just for the simplification, just for the simply make you understood what I am using. I would have written like this that summation for n x i. I am using this as simple summation of x. Okay. Best thing is if you are using that exact actual thing. And for x comma y, what we are writing? Submission for n. We are having x i y i. For this, I am just writing x y. Is it clear? So, you can use in place of these terms, we can write the exactly like these terms. Is it clear? So, it should not be confused that why I am using this one and why books are using exactly that thing. Now, we have got M and C. Now, very important thing what we are having. <coughs> now, since the coefficient of x in the equation y is equal to mx plus c represents represents the regression coefficient of y on x okay we have already discussed that what slope is slope was the regression coefficient of y on x for this equation so how we can write it what sim some simple term what we can use it so we can write it now b in the base yx this means what y on x so what what we got it now here we are having two formulas so we can write it b y for finding the regression coefficient for this part. To this now we can write it summation of x y x dot summation of y upon n whole it is summation of x square minus summation of x whole square upon n or or we can write it okay i am just writing here only or we can write it b y x is equal to n with summation of x y minus summation of x summation of y upon n sorry is it clear now now for the second part what we are having now <coughs> for regression coefficient of x on y the line of regression here will be sorry will be x is equal to m y plus c and the normal equations and normal equations will become here x is equal to n c plus m y and x y is equal to c
y square. Okay. Now solving these equations. On solving these equations, now what we are getting here, now it will be b, earlier it was b y x, now it will be b x y. Okay. So, b, b x y, this will be now summation of x y, means we can write in both the ways, like this upon n, on the whole it will be y square minus summation of y whole square upon n or one and the same thing just look here x y only difference is here ok here and here both the sides now this to this now what we can write it n times upon whole square and and here value of c will be upon so these are the two equations y on x and x on y 